There are two major components of a home water system, the pump and the pressure tank. The pump delivers the water from the source, a well for instance. The pressure tank serves as a reservoir to shorten the number of daily cycles of the pump, extending the pump life. In essence, the tank allows you to use water without the pump having to run every time you use a little water. When you turn on a faucet, the compressed air in the tank pushes on the water reservoir and provides water pressure and flow in the system. When the system pressure drops to a certain point, determined by the pressure switch, the pump turns on and takes over providing pressure and flow in the system. When you turn off the faucet, the pump refills the reservoir in the tank and compresses the air again. When the system pressure reaches a certain point, again determined by the pressure switch, the pump shuts off. The system is now ready for you to turn on another faucet and repeat the whole process. When it comes to selecting a tank or replacing one, there are a few things you need to know before moving forward. Most important, what kind of tank do you need? Precharged or air over water? Precharged tanks are very common and can be recognized by an air valve on top of it. This air valve is used to charge the tank at the factory. It should also be used to check and adjust the air pressure of the tank for the manufacturer's recommendations. For convenience, the air pressure may be checked with a standard tire pressure gauge. The precharged tank needs to be set at 2 pounds below the pump turn-on pressure. It is very important to set this pressure before any water goes into the tank as this ensures the tank will operate as intended. Again, refer to the manufacturer's recommendation. When buying a precharged tank, you'll need to know the flow of your pump. You can find this out by using a 5 gallon bucket and timing how long it takes to fill. For example, if it takes 30 seconds to fill the bucket, then you have a 10 gallon per minute pump. For a 10 gallon per minute submersible pump, choose a 35 gallon precharged tank. For a 20 gallon per minute pump, choose an 85 gallon precharged tank. In general, a bigger tank is almost always better for pump life. If your tank doesn't have an air valve but has ports located on the side of the tank, then you have an air over water tank on your water system. In an air over water tank system, the air and water are not separated and there is no precharge. Only the water going into the tank compresses the air. Air over water tanks are usually much larger than a precharged tank. For example, if you have a 10 gallon per minute pump on an air over water system, you will need an 82 gallon tank. And for a 20 gallon per minute system, you will need a 220 gallon tank. Also, an air volume control kit is required for an air over water tank because some air will escape from the tank as the water is used and it must be replaced. And like the precharged tank, bigger is almost always better when using an air over water tank. If you are not confident with performing any of the tasks in this video, it is recommended that you contact a licensed plumber for assistance.